Anthony on the play for game two. He's on a six card hand. Levi is on seven. Normally in this control mirror, I like blue white, except the fact that Jeskai just has so much more threats here. And I, Anthony has a lot more wheel spinning. I think that the issue is actually blue white has kind of gone more and more towards a tap out control deck. Mm -hmm. Detention Sphere, Ruined Halo. And, and to those beat, don't play. Exactly. To beat Screw to Breach, you need to be heavy on counter spells. Yeah, I agree. He's got a lot of cards that, you know, I'm not sure how good Supreme Verdict is here. In fact, I am <laughs> sure. It's, I got it's, a pretty good idea that yeah. you don't want to draw that one. Now, post-board, Anthony will get a bunch of tools. He'll have Negate, two Dispels. Yep, those That's are big about upgrades. It. Uh, good argument to reach for the Geist of Saint Traps to try to close quickly. Sure, it's better than trying to win with one Ojedi <laughs> and two Snapcasters. <laughs> He does have a settled wreckage, but uh, once uh, once Emrakul attacks, you've already lost six permanents, and that's probably mm -hmm. going to be good enough. Opt from Levi. If Greg Orange has taught me anything, he needs to be playing a Crucible of Worlds. That would do it. That would probably probably make game things better. Game over. <laughs> no one ever beats the Crucible. <laughs> well, except that. <laughs> except for the people that do. Yeah, which we saw around one. Yeah, so it's 50-50. If we play two Crucibles, I can flip the coin twice. So we talk about the disparity in win conditions. Uh, it still remains true. This is a blue mirror in modern. Making land drops very important. Yes. Levi's hand looks pretty flush with lands. Anthony's looks kind of light on lands. In fact, I believe that second land is the last land that was available to him. So Levi's going to have plenty of time to mess around here. See so him find a second basic island there. He's not letting anything get hit by spreading seas. Thing in the ice from Levi. That's out of his sideboard. He has three copies. I assume if one is in, then they're all in. Probably. It's really uh, interesting technology. I like it in this matchup. You don't expect there to be path to exiles post sideboard. It doesn't play against your through the beach plan. So you force him to have interaction like this yeah. mana leak, which Anthony did have, but that means it's not countering your through the breach. And three mana. Looks like we will have guys to St. Traft. All right. Does Levi have ways to answer Geist? Block with Snapcaster Mage? It's <laughs> yeah, it's not pretty slim. He doesn't have... I guess he had one Blessed Alliance in the main. No, that doesn't do anything now. Yeah, no sacrifice. So in response to the Angel Trigger, you can get it. Okay. You have so to that works. You have to resolve your Blessed Alliance. That's kind of the problem. Steam Vents from Levi, untapped, goes to 16. Levi does not have any Blood Moons main or board, despite being a... Sometimes we'll see these Jeskai decks play Blood Moon, mm -hmm. even though... The, the, light, the white is very light in this deck. Like, it's mostly blue-red. Once you're Jeskai, I think you're less commonly going to see Blood Moon. There's, uh, there's a straight blue-red version of this yeah. deck that's certainly Blood Moon. I've got Blood Moon out of a Jeskai version. <laughs> that means it happens. Swing for six. Does it connect? Levi has a Snapcaster he's thinking about. It's reasonable to cast it here because mm -hmm. he has an opt in the graveyard. Also has a Vendillion click, but he's going to go ahead and take all the damage. I suppose you want to wait for a window where you can be more certain that things will go your way. And then he's going to end step the Vendillion click. And I think that'll get the Snapcaster mana leak anyway. It didn't really matter. I, his timing is interesting on it, it, but if he's playing around Snap mana leak, it's, it's going to happen. Yep. After this, though, Anthony does need to draw into something to stop the Snapcast from getting mm -hmm. in front of Geist next turn. Looks like Spreading Sea is Detention Sphere, the leftovers. Well, I guess there's something good on Anthony's side. Even if his Geist St. Traft trades with the Snapcaster Mage, it'll be six more points of damage. Levi will be down to four. It's a low number, but Anthony's on blue-white. Yeah, he's not the light. He does not have lightning bolts. Right. It needs to be Snapcaster Mages that cross the finish line, or I guess the Dragon Lord Orjitai, the second copy of Geist of St. Draft. But it's a small number of things. Uh, this is a deck, uh, as you mentioned, only playing two Snapcaster Mage.
Spreading seas from Anthony, targeting the sacred foundry. Yeah, take Levi off white, that makes sense. Floats a red, bolts away the snapcaster. Swing with guys to St. Traft. Makes the angel token here. Snapcaster mage from Levi. It'll go for, I assume, opt. We'll see if Anthony produced an answer to that. Yeah, otherwise he's going to lose his Geist here. And I don't think he did. Yeah, that trade happens. But Levi does go to four. Four is greater than zero. Yeah. That's really all that matters in this matchup. There is a Gideon in Anthony's hand. If he was going to expose the Geist to this, I, I wish Anthony had a better follow-up. He's lost his advantages. Mm hmm I think Levi is at the ready with at least one cryptic command for that Gideon. Yeah. Has drawn an Emrakul. He's a long way off of hard casting that, but when he finds it through the breach, this game's all but over. And Levi passes. Snapcaster Mage drawn from Anthony, but cryptic command is up. I do think he has the other Geist as well, but uh, he won't be okay. able to resolve that anytime soon. Well, I mean, maybe it's worth it just to eat a counter spell, right? He'll pass. Land drawn by Levi. There aren't any instants in Anthony's graveyard. So if he's trying to make the Snapcaster Mage here, which he might do anyway, I'll go for it. Yeah, Levi has to let that resolve. I still like this play, but it's just a 2 1. Levi's hand's pretty blank. He has land, double cryptic, Emrakul. Yeah. He might have to fight over this. He might have to, you think he might just cryptic command it? It looks like he's thinking about it. I mean, it makes sense. Do you don't want to go to one? Cracking the fetch lad in response certainly leads to that. That opens up a window for the, the other guys to resolve. Mm hmm. So Levi does already have Emrakul. If he draws through the breach, the game is still his. Yeah. Could also draw something like Remand off the Cryptic Command, but we'll that see. That would be really nice. See if we get there. And there's Cryptic targeting the Snapcaster Mage. Counter draw, not for nothing. That was a bingo square for me as well. Going back to Anthony here. Picked up a Cryptic We're Command. We're not playing that game anymore. That's true, because I won. You can't score after it's over. <laughs> you did not get another one. Yeah, no fifth land for Anthony, so he's kind of stuck on casting one thing a turn. And he goes for Gideon if he had the option of Geist. I suppose Gideon also is a one-turn clock. And uh, Gideon emblem here does make things a little bit harder for Levi. I had that square. See? I'm not marking it. <laughs> the game's over. It's like Levi has just picked up a couple more lands. Yeah. Passes. Go back to Gideon, go back to Anthony's turn. This Gideon is going to be lethal. It's going to force a cryptic play. And I think I think Anthony's picked up a cryptic of his own. So we, we, we're looking at a game three here. Yeah, I think we're going to get there. Activate, swing, cryptic, some way to stop it. Bounce, draw, doesn't matter. Here's a cryptic back. I believe I picked up a dispel. Levi or Anthony? Levi. I think. Okay. Cryptic back. You're right. Dispel on Anthony's cryptic. All right, we're still playing. There was a bit of an argument to just letting Levi's Cryptic resolve and remaking Gideon. Yeah, with that many cards in hand, if that gets countered, you're in a good amount of trouble. Yeah, I I think I would have liked to see that play. And Levi's going to try to rebuild. Here is Serum Visions. He has Remand in his hand, so an extra turn. Draws a land. That doesn't help. Yes. But Scry 2, maybe there's a Through the Breach. Something in a mountain. I don't think he wants the mountain. It looks like a blue card. Doesn't want either. Ten is Emrakul, Land, Remand. You know, eight Lamana in play, but can't actually cast Emrakul here. Field of Ruin for Anthony. Notably, this is enough mana for him to go for both of his three mana plays. Yep. So he's going to start with Gideon. Levi's will remand because he sees that Anthony only has three white. Thinks, oh, great, you can't recast it. So now Anthony will bait and switch and say, yeah, but I have this Geist. 
Did you draw a counter spell? Well, this is big because now even if Levi finds through the breach, it's not lethal, and oh, it, he gets wins. All of the yeah. non, it gets all the non-geist per permanents, and Anthony just cracks back for lethal. Yeah, well, there's also, if we get in that spot, remember, there's that spreading seas of Anthony's on the board, too. Right. Nahiri from Levi. That's not going to answer Geist, but it might give him one more draw. Picked up Path to Exile. That one does not play here. Discard and draw. Here's a land and last card for Levi. Remand. No, a little late. Yeah. He can path the angel token. Mm -hmm. That's why he's still playing. And then he hopes he gets to remand something to redraw, because it's going to take two things to close this game. Oh, he least. doesn't actually have white mana. Well, that's a problem. OK, so no, we're going to a game three. Yeah, to cast an Ahiri, and his other white source was spreading seized. Yep. So Anthony Sayer and Levi Basham going to three. 15 minutes as they start shuffling up. It's going to be a quick one. Stay tuned. We'll have the conclusion of the match in just a second. Players still sideboarding here for the third game. So we have seen some change of win cons from players. Anthony, really both sides have reached for their additional threats. On Anthony's side, he has Geist of St. Traft now. And on Levi's side, it looks like he has at least one of his thing in the ice is to go with his Vendillion click. Mm -hmm. You see any of that changing when we go to a third game? Uh, probably going to stay the same. The Geists are a bit worse on the draw, but I think Anthony does need something to try to close the game. So they yeah. probably stay in. You just have to fight for them in different ways. He already had a lot of, like, Supreme Verdict, Ruined Halo. He had stuff to get rid of. Right. Now we'll see if you see Anthony reach for anything that deals with Thing in the Ice slash Awoken Horror. Okay. Brings in any of this stuff off the sideboard. Uh, you have to assume that his Path to Exiles are boarded out for Game 2. You might see a couple of those back in for Game 3. Unfortunately, uh, Levi is probably not going to want to fight over Geist of St. Traft on the battlefield. The cyborg does have a couple copies of Anger of the Gods, but the, it's just so bad, generally speaking, in the matchup. Probably just try to catch Geist with a two-mana counter spell. Serum Visions to start from Levi. Both players on seven. Looks like draws an Electrolyze. And I noticed this last game when Eli Levi also had Lightning Bolts. He seems like he's really still playing as though Burnout is a major win condition. You know, he's kept the Electrolyzes in. Electrolyze is just so free, right? That you just generally yeah. leave that card in. Thing in the Ice made on turn two here by Levi. He does not have another land. However, he did pick, op pick up Opt that turn. I am curious to see how many Path to Exiles are still in Levi's deck. Because he's, he's drawn, he drew that in game two, and he's already drawn one here in game three. I'm really surprised they're still around. Yeah. I guess they get rid of Gideon of the Trials. Sure, sometimes. That's it. Yep. Uh, they can catch a tapped Dragon Lord Ojutai. Oh, gross. Unless they have Slayer's Stronghold. Some, you ever seen that one? That's 
Oh, he doesn't play red. He can't do it. They've been uh, playing. You play. Uh, what's, what's the land? Minamo. Yeah, Minamo. Yeah, boom. Uh, there's not one. Untap in, it. There's not one in this particular list, though. Serum Visions for Anthony. That was something that uh, Jeff Hoagland was doing like four years ago. Yeah. Oh, man. Path to Exile. Hold on. From Anthony. We'll get that thing that's exiled. So look, did you see Levi's hand though? He had no more lands, no red source, just an opt. How good, how happy is Levi? Say, like on my face, I just say, you got it, man. And just like in my head, I'd just be fist pumping right now. Even if he had more land drops, just having more lands in the mirror is good. Yeah, but right, you know, this one, he needed this one. Yeah, yeah, it is a nice hit. All right, well, we'll go back over to Levi. He's trying to build his mana up, draws Nahiri. Now he has a decision. He can main phase opt and or electrolyze to try to hit his land, but that's taking down the blue mana. And he's not willing to do it. He just passes. I do like passing there. If you opt and don't find blue source, you just lose to Gideon. No, not Gideon. Uh, Geist. Geist on the spot. You might lose to Gideon too, but <laughs> you definitely lose to Geist. Tap land and a pass from Anthony. All right, now we're going to see some cantrip. Anthony had a spreading seize. He's also he's also not moving yet. And Levi will just opt. No electrolyze yet. The thing about spreading seize is that Levi is light on blue mana. You yeah. might just be helping him turning either of these lands into an island. And Levi draws a fetch land he'll keep. Why do you think it's opt over electrolyze there? Pardon me? I want to just shoot two upstairs. You want more looks at a land because you know exactly what you want. Okay. And the two damage doesn't matter. Sometimes you have to tag a Vendillion Click or a Snapcaster Mage. So opt is really, you really need the land, so that's why you're playing opt. Right. And Levi drew a land off the opt and then drew a land for turn. He is back in business as he passes. 9.25 remaining. First spell tried from Anthony's going to be getting at the trials. Levi will have none of that. <laughs> and now that his mana's online, this desolate lighthouse that Levi played on the second turn, it was a bit of a liability because it, it wasn't a great land early, but I think it's going to be a weapon. Yes. It gets a lot better when you can start activating it. Hollowed Fountain from Levi. Might even see Levi just go for Nahiri on his turn. I like that, too. The worry would be that Anthony would untap and Geist. You see Mana Leak eats the Gideon. Yeah, so you kind of have to assess your hand. Are things getting better over time if there's a Geist involved or worse? Yeah. Is this my window? Snapcaster drawn. Levi has land five. Snapcaster, Dispel, Nahiri, Path, and I believe Detention Sphere. Snapcaster, Mana Leak, Dispel is a good mix of stuff to leave up. Yep, he's going to go for the Nahiri. The Nah uh, Snapcaster is also good for fighting against Geist if it resolves, so... Yeah. This is reasonable. No, essentially, make that a little. So, yeah, Electrolyze, Path, Dispel, Snap in Levi's hand. He's going to plus Nahiri. I don't know if he wants to discard any of these. I would like to discard the Path, path. but he's looking at Electrolyze. I suppose. He's probably just going to cycle that away anyway. Might as well let Nahiri do that for him. Sure. Picks up through the Breach. Okay, that's a blank for now. Well, the Nahiri's already ticking up to make an Emrakul happen. I don't mind trying to make Emrakul in multiple ways at once. Sure. Nahiri could also maybe get the Tension Sphere. We'll see exactly what happens. You see, because when you in ult ultimate Nahiri, an Emrakul attacks, and when she comes back to your hand and your opponent's only at 18, you have to make Emrakul again. So now Levi has the Through the Breach. Combo both ways. And we see Detention Sphere on the Nahiri and Rest in Peace from Anthony. Well wow. then. See, that's why he's lighter on Snapcaster Mage. Yeah. There is a Snapcaster in Levi's hand, so fair enough. <laughs> Now, Levi has a desolate lighthouse. He might get rid of that Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, or just cast it. <laughs> Nine hits. How many, removals, how many removal spells are in Anthony's deck? We'll find yeah. out. I just draw Emrakul. That's what I do. I just draw Emrakul right That there. would be smart. Path, Snapcaster, through the breach in Levi's hand. It's not a particularly good hand right now. No. Draws, Emrakul. Nope, Glacial Fortress. Similar. Basically the same. And he does still want another land, so he makes land six. Passes. Six minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Drawn by Anthony, picks up a cryptic. His hand, spreading seas, will be the first play. He'll get, I assume, that desolate lighthouse. Get that out of there. Yeah, definitely. Other hand, detention sphere, cryptic command, Gideon of the Trials. Gideon looks to be good right now. 
indeed. So an activation of Desolate Lighthouse from Levi. Draws a land. Is that better or worse, I suppose, than the Snapcaster? Yeah, worse. He looks like he's going to ditch the land. Yeah, the or Snapcaster the can theoretically yeah. apply some pressure. Anthony draws. Draws a path of his own. That's not going to do much against opponents trying to make Emmer cool. No. Anthony can tap out for getting into the trials. He's weighing his choices. He decides he will. No answer from Levi. He does have a path to exile in his hand. Yeah. So he won't get punched to death by Gideon, any, Gideon anyway. But he cannot counter it on the way down now with that dispel. And he's just going to make Snapcaster Mage. He's going to try to attack down Gideon. I don't mind that. Anthony, yeah, looking at that path. Scalding Tarn, the draw for Levi. Nothing there. He's already missing that lighthouse pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, it's against a four spreading seas deck, so you have to figure you're you're always on borrowed time if you get to use it. Yeah. But Snapcaster Mage, with Anthony at 18, I assume you're pressuring the Planeswalker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the life total is Emrakul plus mm -hmm. Lightning Bolt already, and the Gideon can just plus on Snapcaster. And Levi says, no, you. Okay. Sure. These colon this colonnade on Anthony's side might start mattering here. We'll see. Draws a counter spell of some sort. Modern open player, Negate, I believe. He has a nice hand to sit back on. There's a cryptic yeah. command hanging out there. Yeah, I really like I mean, on this board, Negate is really strong. Anthony's going to make an emblem. Passes. He'll take damage for a while. Setting up for a big counter war. Until Anthony finds land six, though, he's losing. So Levi has through the breach plus dispel. And on Anthony's side, he has Cryptic Negate. So Anthony would win, except he only has five mana. Yes. So right now, Emrakul should still be good. But mm -hmm. as soon as Anthony hits land six, Anthony wins the counter war. Right. Can he do it? Something blue. Blue cards are good. They're not Emrakul. Path on Snapcaster. I don't think Levi wants to fight on this. But he does. He'll dispel. That's a big win for Anthony. Yeah, that's an aggressive dispel. Okay, no, wait. It's a win for Levi again because the dispel was negated. Huh. So this works out for Levi. I don't know exactly what just happened, but I, it's good for Levi. Yeah. Yeah, Levi gets to rampant growth here. He loses his 2-1. <laughs> that was already cold to the Gideon. Yeah. And also got the negate, not the cryptic. I kind of felt like Negate was more valuable here because it cost less. Land six from Anthony. You know, because then you can start getting into territory of attack with Colonnade, leave up Negate. But attack with Colonnade, leave up Cryptic is about a million turns away. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that he's looking at any kind of short-term try to win with Colonnade okay. plan. So there's some aggressive control play going on here. And I guess they're looking at the clock. We see Gideon activate, Path to Exile and Gideon. Cryptic Command countering Path to Exile. Disdainful Stroke countering Cryptic Command. Both players are just emptying their hands of all their counter spells. I had a three-spell stack bingo square. Now, the, 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 that game is over. But the game did, <laughs> <laughs> This game is not, though. And it's starting to look like Anthony's Colonnade might be the decider here. And now that that path's gone... I mean, Levi's hands just through the breach. He drew a remand. Okay. Sure. Still needs an Emrakul. Yep. You know, th that was both those last turns for a control mirror were way out of out of left field. However, I want to. I think there's more going on than we have to respect. There's a clock. That clock on the center screen. If the players are aware of it, I like the, both their plays a lot more. Yes. Yeah. You got to reach a conclusion. Nobody wants a draw. No, especially not with a thousand-player tournament. A draw is just a double loss on day one. Yep. Serum visions from Anthony. And activate colonnade. Swing Levi to eleven. Says go. Looking for Emrakul. I was going to say, back when you said the cryptic versus negate argument, I want to now say negate couldn't have been disdainful stroked, except that that's like not a real, <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's no way you're playing around that. Levi picked up a path to exile, which covers the okay. celestial colonnade plan for one turn. There's a second colonnade there. Serum visions. Anthony bottomed another colonnade on that serum visions. I'm not even sure I want to do that. He's a little bit off of activating two All or right. needing a third. Activate Colonnade. Swing. 
Path to Exile. Now, Anthony topped one card off the Seer and Visions. And you see right now, no, he's not searching on Path. Yeah, still want it. Emrakul was the draw, though, for Levi. Here's through the breach. Hands up. Do you have it? Yeah, he's at 15. And with one minute remaining, Levi hits the combo, and he moves on to 4-0. It was an interesting game, but yeah, Emmer Emmerichel seals it. Yeah, I mean, and you, and you see a shake of the head. You know that Levi's has this breach the whole game. You, 